you found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. And today, it's all about that spiral cut ham that you brought home from the holidays. I will show you how to take it off the bone to make the best presentation. And after that, we'll upgrade the flavor with a real maple glaze that's to die for. Okay guys, let's get started. I've got a store brand honey spiral cut ham. Okay, as you can see, this thing is divided into three main muscle groups. And uh, what we're gonna do is slice along the natural seams and take the muscle off the bone instead of the bone out of the ham. This is the easiest way. Maybe it's a little bit new to you, but this is the way that works best. So all you gotta do is follow the natural contour of the muscles. It's got a seam, and we're just gonna stay right with that seam line. Just take that muscle group right off. And also, now's the time that if you've got some unwanted fat, you can go ahead and get rid of that. Then you don't have to worry about serving that to your guests. Remember, you see the seam line goes right down here. You just follow that natural seam with your knife blade. Okay. Comes off quite nice. These pieces are all sliced. Then we've got this last group that we got to deal with. We're just going to carve it around the bone, take it right off. So you can just feel the contour of the bone with your knife. You hadn't quite got it cut enough. Well, you can go back in. All right, and after that, you just carve this meat off of the bone, much the same way that you did. You see, it's already naturally divided for you. So you're just going to go in there on those natural divisions and finish it up. Your family will thank you and your guests will thank you. This is an easy way to be the hero. Okay, and then we can go back and cut this into smaller pieces later, but for the demonstration, I'm just gonna finish this up. A lot of people like to save this bone. It's great for cooking with. You can throw it in the freezer and get it out whenever you need it. Okay, so now all we gotta do is heat this up. I'm gonna show you how to make a maple glaze that's better than the one that comes in the packet. I'm gonna cover this with foil, then we're gonna get it over here and start heating it up. Okay, we got, we're starting off, uh, after I opened up the oven, it's down to 166 degrees and the food temperature is 54, so we're gonna let it go. It takes between 10 and 15 minutes a pound, so we'll just let it go till we get our 135 degree temperature and then we'll check it and see where we're at. Okay guys, now we're ready to make our maple glaze and most of these hams come with a glaze. It's good, but it's corn syrup based, most of it. This one certainly is. So you can look on the back and see the ingredients. So we can make one better. We're gonna use pure maple syrup and it will be better than the one that comes with your ham. And it's simple to make. And so with that, we're gonna get started. First thing we put in is a half a cup of maple syrup. And we'll follow that up with a half a cup of sugar. Now you can use brown sugar, but I prefer to use turbinado. Follow that up with one eighth cup of apple juice. Now we're just gonna put a sprinkle of cinnamon in there. And if you want to go the distance, this is optional, but this makes it really good. We're going to use some whole nutmeg, shave some down with our microplane. So this is just added flavor. Like I say, it's optional, but if you use it, you won't go wrong adding nutmeg. Now that we got all our ingredients in here, we give it a good stir and we get it on some heat because we want to bring it to a boil. This stuff's pretty thick to start with. So I'm just gonna set my pan here. And this is something that you do not want to walk away from. It can be very deceiving. It doesn't look like it's doing much and then all of a sudden you're at that boil. You need to be right here with. Okay guys, we got our ham out of the oven. We're gonna apply the glaze. We can just expedite this by pouring some of this goodness on here. Gonna use it all. 
Now that's all there is to it. We've added our glaze to our ham. It's off the bone. It makes a better presentation. It'll speed up your serving. Everybody will enjoy it even more. It's going to be a big hit at Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's, or whenever you serve it. I guarantee it. So if you found something that you can use in this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.